The Hypo Index, a summary of your organizational performance. It is made up of four pillars or success factors, which help us identify what drives this performance. Always presented in this order, engagement plus, leadership quality, employees alignment to goals and strategy, and your organizational capability. Each pillar index is calculated from the average scores of its subcategories. Just as these 12 categories represent the average performance within the 25 core hypo questions. So once we've added up the questions, averaged out the subcategories and combined the four pillars, the result is our unique hypo index visual. To read this, we start with the overall hypo index. Ranging from 0 to 100, with a semicircle to match, this index visual allows you to compare your index score to that of an external benchmark, so that you can clearly see how you are performing by highlighting the gap between the hypo index and the external benchmark. A score that can be either positive or negative. This visual also highlights the gap between the hypo index and a predefined internal benchmark. A benchmark that could encompass the overall company or a subunit such as an individual market. Ultimately, giving you a picture of your overall performance against both external and internal benchmarks. But this is only part of the picture. Because the hypo index score is an average derived from each of the four pillar scores. These pillars, engagement plus, leadership, goals and strategy, and organizational capabilities can be analyzed independently, allowing you to compare the performance of each pillar, as well as the performance of each pillar against the internal benchmarks or external benchmarks. Following on from this, you'll be taken through your performance in the categories that make up each pillar, which, in the case of engagement plus, happen to be commitment, team engagement and the customer orientation of your teams. And following on from that, you will be shown how you have performed in the individual questions that make up this category. As you can see here, the overall performance in employee commitment is calculated by taking only the top two positive answers and comparing this with the internal and external benchmarks. The hypo index is therefore calculated from the bottom up with the average of each question's top scores making up the category indices, which make up the four pillar indices, which in turn make up the overall index score. But when delivering these results, we summarize them in three main ways. First, we take the results of all 25 questions and, by plotting them against the performance measure and the gap to the external benchmark, we cluster them into high-level strengths and high-level weaknesses with the average performing questions represented here in grey. This produces a list that can be refined to enable you to prioritise by focusing on your main strengths and weaknesses. Next, we use six of the eight questions from the Engagement Plus pillar to inform you how many of your employees are truly engaged. And, based on how employees have answered the following questions, satisfaction, pride in the company, motivation of colleagues, whether they would recommend their employer, belief in the future of the company, and the team's willingness to extraordinary engagement, we assign them to one of four segments ranging from highly engaged to less engaged. This allows us to provide you with an overview scorecard, which will combine your key strengths and weaknesses and employee engagement analysis with your overall performance across each of the four pillars. The High Performance Organization's Employee Research Model